Hello Aries and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for June 24th through the 30th of 2019. Okay, so Aries, let me just um, start this off with a couple quick messages and we'll get right into your reading. Um, and it's stick around at the end if you want a code for 20% off of anything that you get through my Teespring. So any merch stuff that you guys, guys want to order, um, Aries, your design is up. I'm so excited to have it up there. All of the Zodiac Gals designs are actually um, based off of like women that I know are, or friends that I know um, that are those signs. And Aries is based off my friend Trinity, actually. <laughs> so um, well, maybe a little bit of my stuff there in there, but I didn't want to base any of them on me, but just people that I know. Because I'm Aries Taurus cusp, so I was like, gotta pick up specific Aries, gotta pick up specific Taurus. So um, that's she's based off of my friend Trinity, and I think the design is super cute. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and again, stick around for the end if you want 20% off of um, any order that you get through my Teespring. Um, so if you want to enter that chance to win a free 30 minute reading, I've been talking about it for a couple weeks now. You haven't, this is the last week actually to enter, so you have until June 30th. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, share a video or share the channel on social media, and then email me at dkutero at gmail.com. My email, as well as all the other information on booking a reading with me, is right below this video in the description box. Um, okay, so, Aries. Um, we're using the cat tarot this week, unfortunately, and, um... Very sadly, our kitty Ravi, um, named after Ravi Shankar, he um, passed away this week. We had to put him down. It was really, really rough. Um, so I've been taking the weeklies a little bit slower, and that's why Libra and you are last, unfortunately. I just I didn't have it in me to do any more yesterday. I needed to take a break. But now we're getting back into it and back into the readings as normal. Um, so in honor of Ravi, we're using the cat tarot this week, okay? Super cute deck. My sister got it for me for my birthday. It's a pretty new deck. So let's look at what's going on for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you know, this cannot and will not resonate with all of you. What is your energy? 20, between 24th through the 30th. What is their energy this week? Ooh, Seven of Wands reversed. Okay. And as you can see, there's a cat pushing mice off of a ledge here. We get two, sorry, I almost said two of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, I like that though. This is in the Aries surrounding energy, environment, what's coming into them this week. Why are, your cards are like flying out uncomfortably and I'm just like, can I have one? So Aries, one card, please one card for what's your surrounding energy and your surrounding environment. Page of Wands and energy. High Priestess, interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. Um, all right, Seven of Wands reversed. When the Seven of Wands is upright, I always see it as a card to keep on fighting. You know, knock down your adversaries, knock down all, you know, those little things that you have to do throughout the day. Um, you know, sending all the emails, you know, doing the laundry, doing this, doing that. Um, it's making sure you have all that stuff done. But when it's reversed, we might need to, you know, put up our wands here and take a break. We might need to not be putting in that much effort. We need to kind of take a step back here. Um, the best course of action really sometimes could just be to cut our losses here to, um, to surrender for the time being. Because maybe we've underestimated, you know, how much we have to do or underestimated the strength of our adversaries here. Whether it be, you know, with people or, you know, in terms of work, you know. Maybe we misjudge something and we're like, whoa, this is way too much. This is way, way a lot here. And um, that's your energy this week is... I mean, overall, you know, you have Nine of Pentacles coming in, so you might have a lot of great opportunities coming in, a great sense of stability, and especially in terms of our financial wealth and well-being with the Nine of Pentacles. But there is this need to recognize where we might need to sit back and just look at things for now, okay? Um, sometimes it's saying, you know, it's, it just, it's temporarily a time to cut our losses in certain areas here, to take a breather, to stop fighting so hard, to stop doing all those little things and to really evaluate well you know what do we actually need to do versus what is just getting us caught up what is just getting in the way 
So it's kind of like, you know, looking at what's practical here in terms of what we're trying to fight off, what we're trying to get done. It's being more practical about it. Um, so let's clarify. Seven of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. I really like the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yes, the lovers. So yeah, again, guys, you have an opportunity this week for a new beginning. Maybe that's why this is so stressful. Because some of you guys might have to cut some losses here and be like, okay, well, you're moving jobs, you're moving home, you could be moving countries, I don't know. Um, there's a really wonderful opportunity coming in here, though, if I'm being honest. Um, and it does give you a lot of stability. Also, really, it's like, wow, hey, Aries, you know, you're an amazing writer. I'm going to give you this job. Um, it's going to take you traveling to Moscow, and you're going to go write this thing, okay? You're going to go write this. I don't know. I'm obviously... <laughs> I never know what to say for a job. Like, um, I never know what to say, for example, sometimes. So forgive me. Like if you're a writer in like a newspaper or something like that, it could be that someone's offering you like, you know, the gig of a lifetime here or to move somewhere and um, I don't know, some company might be like, hey, move to Chicago or move to Canada and I'm going to give you this job or yeah, I'll move to Japan, I'm going to give you this job. Um, there just seems to me whenever I see the lovers, there's an opening, there's an opportunity that is opening up to you, something that you really love, something that, um, you know, there's a choice. There's always a choice with the lovers. So we have to go with our heart really when that comes up. And it's really important to go with our gut here, to know, um, to really know which is the yes for you and which is the no. You know, you're going to understand, you know, where your feet are getting cold, where your ears are burning here in terms of which way to go. So you're going to know. Um, rely on what's going to give you that stability, what's going to give you that, you know, nine of pentacles feeling where, you know, you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about um, sustaining sustaining yourself. You don't have to worry about stability. So we're feeling really wonderful this week. We could be opening up to a new opportunity, having new love come into our life, a choice. But for me, this feels more, because again, I'm not focused on love yet. This feels more like um, an opportunity that is a financial actually a lot better than what you had and you're going to be like whoa 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 dropping all these wands here really evaluating you know is what i'm doing better than what's being offered to me probably not when you see the nine of pentacles the fool the page of wands there might be a small learning curve but it feels to me that your intuition is saying you know go with this follow your intuition follow your gut on this your heart will lead you into the right decision here this feels like a really wonderful opportunity though Page of Wands, High Priestess. Oh my gosh, yeah, guys. And as I say that, Wheel of Fortune. You have fortune coming in. You have a real shift in fortune, a real shift in your energy. Things are changing. They're putting you on a new path here. That whenever I see the Fool, we're starting something new. We're ready to begin again. We're ready to jump into something. And for me, Aries, personally, as a reader, I associate the Fool kind of with your energy, with your, you know, um, get to it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go out on an adventure and I don't care where it's going to lead me. I just know that I want to see what happens here. You know, it's, um, we're trusting that the universe has our back here and it does. So take the opportunity and don't be afraid of, you know, what's to come. This is opening up amazing doors for you, giving you money, giving you wealth, abundance, growth, um, probably learning something new here. You're going to feel very excited. Um, and you're like, I think this is the right decision. There's not a lot of, I feel like, long-term thought involved in this but i don't feel that there needs to be this week for you guys um so take on that full energy that's right at the center of your reading you're you're beginning a new adventure something wonderful something to me that just feels like yes like i just feel like you guys are gonna be throwing your hands up in the air and jumping and being like yes 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 this is awesome like i got this so this is really really good guys there's a shift in fortune um with some choices that are coming in this week i absolutely love it um, so let's get a love card for you guys. I'm not really into using the Morgan Greer Tarot this week for love, so we're going to do it. I really love this deck. It's so 70s. I love old types of illustrations. Oh, all these new decks are amazing. <laughs> I'm just, like, very excited about it. So excited to share them with you guys, and I appreciate all the comments that are like, I love these decks. These are so beautiful. You have nice decks. I got a couple like that this past week, and I was like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Um, as somebody with an art background, or my art has, my life has always been art, so, um, picking out decks that are visually awesome, visually beautiful, visually incredible, are, is very important to me. Um, I only pick the ones that I'm like, yes, this is beautiful, this is awesome, this is an artist. <laughs> so anyways, Aries, love and romance energy. Oh my gosh, guys, Ten of Cups. Okay, wow. All right. That is your energy this week. You are feeling the love. I mean, whether you're in a relationship or not, oh my god. Some of you guys are like having a Prince Charming, Princess Charming coming in out of nowhere this week. 
somebody's coming in to offer you, you know, the, that full 10 cups. Wow. Okay. So this is like dreamy love energy here. Um, wow. And right at the beginning of the week, the moon goes from Pisces into your sign. So it could be that kind of energy of very dreamy, wonderful, emotionally resilient love. Um, again, if you're in a relationship, we're really feeling it. We could be going out this week, you know, sending each other little notes, messages. Oh my gosh, guys. Proposals this week for Aries. Damn. Like, to me, you guys are getting proposals. Holy crap. Seven of Swords reversed. Oh my god. These cards are very slippery. I did just drop a bunch on the floor. Okay. <laughs> but I did see that the tower, not, sorry, not the tower. Um, your card, the Emperor, came out. We'll see if he comes back out. All right. I'm not going to take it because so many other cards fell out, but I did notice him out there. Um, let's get some clarifiers here, okay? Clarify the Ten of Cups and Knight of Cups here. Clarify Ten of Cups for Aries this week. I mean, there really is no clarification for it. But Knight of Cups, Four of Wands. These are all just like loving messages. Where do you want to be in the future? Do you see yourself living here? Do you want to get married, literally? Some of you guys are getting proposed to this week. It's happening. So let's see, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands for Aries, clarify, let's bring up these energies. This is what's coming in here, is you're getting to that point, holy crap, the Magician and the Six of Pentacles, the Lovers all just came out. We'll take it, we'll take it, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, Double Lovers. I, w I, didn't, I usually don't put any um, titles for my weeklies, but I might have to do that for you guys this week, this is amazing. Um, look at them, they're very... Very 70s, very, very beefy. Look at his butt. It's quite a hairy butt. <laughs> oh, this deck always makes me laugh because it's just very 70s. There's one guy in it that looks like one of our, our friends that's a Leo. <laughs> Every time I see that card, I think it's the Nine of Wands. I'm like, what's Joe doing here? Um, But look at that mustache. Like He looks like he's going to go to a roller, skin uh, roller skate um rink right there. Something roller derby. Like, what is that? He looks very... um. Ron Burgundy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aries, that I'm laughing so much and joking with you, but this is such a beautiful reading. I mean, some of you guys are literally um, getting married. Maybe you guys are putting, maybe that you're getting the proposal or you've already been proposed to. And now it's like, all right, let's go put money down on the venue. Where do you want to move? Um, we're having things being revealed to us again this week. So um, I think for some of you, you might be wondering what's going on with your partner lately. You're really feeling the love, but in, you have everything that you... Um, this relationship has everything that it takes to be successful. So again, if you have any doubts this week and that you're like, I don't really know what's going on with them. Like they're, I love them and their energy is great, but it just feels like there's something being hidden here. And whether it's you proposing or the other person, there's a proposal here. A proposal of some beautiful type here. Whether let's, you know, let's move in somewhere amazing. Let's go on vacation together. Let's get back in touch with each other. And they're quite naked. Um, this is a very sexy time type of energy, the lovers in this deck. So this is really romantic energy here, guys. Um, whatever you want out of love this week, go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't have fear. Don't hold yourself back at all. This is beautiful. You're getting to where you want to go. Um, and again, whether that's you or somebody else, somebody's proposing something really beautiful to you and you can see yourself getting to where you've wanted to in terms of love for a long time, or even moving in together, getting married, you know, you know, again, choosing the venue, um, there's a lot of equal exchange in terms of love this week. So whatever you've been trying to manifest in, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, don't fear it. Even if the Seven of Swords is there, it's reversed, which means, which to me is always, you know, we're dropping the Seven of Swords, you finally find out what's going on below the surface. Um, and it's beautiful. <laughs> so this is amazing, this is love. Sometimes, some of you might be hearing I love you from your partner for the first time this week. Or um, you might be really meeting somebody that's just like, wow. If you're meeting somebody new this week and you're single, you know, know that this is the love of a lifetime. Whether this person be new or someone else coming back in, this is like, I'm going to, like, I want to marry you, Aries. I want to lock you down. I want to be with you. Um, let's, like, I, I, you're the greatest thing that's ever happened. You're incredible. Like, you're wonderful. All these amazing things. So this is a really, I don't know, cancer season is vibing with you guys. I love it. This is a nice energy for this reading here. Um, let's get a Romance Angel Oracle card. Or two. I'll do one. Because I did it for Libra. I'll do one for singles. One for couples. Singles for Aries. Aries singles in terms of love and romance. <sighs> Express your love. Like I said, guys, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is amazing. Express your love. 
for it. You're amazing, Aries. You guys are, whether you're a male or a female Aries, y'all are all babes. Like, go for it. <laughs> um, you have the confidence. You have everything. Express your love. Wow. Okay, so Aries couples. Honeymoon. Like I said, guys, honeymoon. Maybe you guys are going on a honeymoon. Maybe you did just get married and you're going on a honeymoon. You're going on a vacation. Maybe you're taking a second honeymoon. Or even some of you, you guys just need to take some time out together. Go on a little adventure. Go on a little retreat. Go to the beach. Go If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, go take a picnic. Go for a nice drive. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you know, maybe travel somewhere warmer. Maybe go on a little adventure somewhere that, you know, is meaningful to you both. This is really beautiful. This is an amazing week for love for you guys. Yes, this is what I've wanted all week. So everything has been so intense, all that eclipse energy, and you guys are like... Oh, this is refreshing to end the readings off with, honestly. Um, the Halloween Oracle by Stacey DeMarco now. Let's get an Oracle card from your higher self, from Spirit, for guidance for Aries this week. Oh, my God. Skull of Light Illumination. Beautiful, guys. Of course, you would get the, like, the most beautiful card in the deck here. <clears throat> the idea of being shown the way in the most difficult of times and always knowing that we are never alone in the darkness are the keys to this magical element. Light is usually a comforting thing, yet sometimes we do not really want to see the boogeyman under the bed. It is too scary, too big, and we know not how to defeat it. Yet by simply shining the torch upon such darkness, the victory is ours. Should the skull of light enter your life, know that it is time to open yourself fully to the clarity of bright illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to see, and to act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding, for pretending, and for swallowing our discomfort by accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. So again, this is no longer a time to accept the status quo. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. Take those new opportunities. Step into your power here. Illuminate who, you're tru who you truly are and you know what, what, how far your talents and how far your power can really go. This is a really... Um, glow up week for you guys like i don't know i just feel like flowers blooming like huge you know that one flower that i don't remember what it's called but it like blooms every like once a year like once every 10 years and forgive me if i'm wrong i'm not a botanist um but it's like always in shows and movies and everyone's like you gotta go see this flower that's blooming once in a lifetime this feels like your moment like this is your night blooming flower like you know all of a sudden like the stars and the moon shine down on a beautiful clear night and you guys just bloom in a beautiful way and everything changes color and it's just beautiful so again this is a really wonderful moment for you aries um have a beautiful and wonderful week and again if you want to get 20 percent off of anything that you guys get through my store for my um teespring um and again i designed that myself the aries design is up there on shirts on um mugs on sweatshirts on t-shirts on oh my god on phone cases it's on everything so check it out guys i'm super excited to share that with you and um yeah you can get 20 percent off with the code full moon capital f capital m full moon you can use that till june 30th then i'll be changing changing the discount for next week okay um so definitely check those out guys have a wonderful and blessed week and again if you want to enter that contest this is also the last week you can do that so you have until June 30th to enter, and all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, share a video, or share the channel. And yes, you do really have to do that. I can tell. Um, and then email me, okay? My email as well as all the information on booking a reading is right below this video in the description box. Have a wonderful and blessed week, my beautiful Aries.